सिंधुरीक भारद्वाज सिंधुरीक भारद्वाज सुत दिस हैव आई हर्ड ऑन वन ओकेशन द ब्लेसड वन वॉज ड्वेलिंग अमॉन्ग द कोज रन ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर सुंदरीक नाउ ऑन दैट ओकेशन द ब्राफ इन सुंदरीक भारद्वाज वॉज ऑफरिंग अ फायर सेक्रीफाइस एंड परफॉर्मिंग द फायर ऑपरेशन ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर सुंदरीक then after he had offered the fire sacrifice and performed the fire oblation the brahmin sundarika bharadwaj rose from his seat and surveyed the four directions all round wondering who might eat the remains of the offering the brahmin sundarika bharadwaj then saw the blessed one sitting nearby at the foot of a certain tree with his head covered having seen him he took the remains of the offering in his left hand and the water pot in his right hand and approached the blessed one with the sound of his footstep the blessed one uncovered his head then the brahmin sundarika bharadwaj thinking this worthy one is shaven headed this worthy one is shaveling wanted to turn back but it occurred to him Some brahmins here are also shaven-headed. Let me approach him and inquire about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social class. Then the brahmin Sundarika Bharadwaj approached him and inquired about his social having fully understood the clan of worldlings owning nothing with a reflection i live in the world clad in my cloak homeless i wander with my head shaved fully quenched within since i am unattached to people here it is unfitting brahmin to ask me about my clan the brahmin sundari ke varajwad said brahmin sir ask the brahmins is the worthy one a brahmin the blessed one but if you say you are a brahmin and say i am not a brahmin let me ask you about the savitri with its three phrases and 24 syllables the brahmin on what ground how many rishis men khatris and brahmins he in the world perform sacrifices to the deities the blessed one if an accomplished one a veda master at the time of sacrifice gains an offering from any one it succeeds for the donor i say the brahmin surely this offering of his must succeed said the brahmin since we have seen such a veda master it is because we have not seen those like you that other people eat the sacrificial cake the blessed one therefore brahmin as you seek the good approach me here and ask your question perhaps you may find here one at peace smokeless untroubled desireless and very wise the brahmin must go to me since i delight in sacrifice i wish to hold a sacrifice but do not understand let the worthy one instruct me please tell me when offering succeeds the blessed one in that case brahmin lenanie i will teach you the dhamma ask not of social class but ask of conduct fire indeed is produced from any wood though from a low family a steadfast muni is a thorough bred restrained by a moral shame one tamed by truth endowed with taming who has reached the end of the vedas one who has lived the spiritual life a brahmin who would sacrifice intent on merit should make a timely oblation to him those homeless ones who have abundant sensual pleasures who are well self controlled straight as a shuttle a brahmin who would sacrifice intent on merit should make a timely oblation to them those devoid of lust 
with well concentrated faculties, freed like the moon from the grip of Rahu, a Brahmin who would sacrifice intent on merit, should make a timely oblation to them. Those who wander in the world without attachments, always mindful, having abandoned things taken as mine, a Brahmin who would sacrifice intent on merit, should make a timely oblation to them. Having renounced sensual pleasures, we are in triumphant. He who has known the end of the birth and death, who has attained Nibbana, cool as a lake, the Tathagaza is worthy of sacrificial cake. The same as the righteous, far from the unrighteous, the Tathagata is one of boundless wisdom, untainted here or beyond. The Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. He in whom there is no hypocrisy or conceit, devoid of greed, with no sense of mind, desireless, with anger distressed, inwardly and well quenched, that Brahmin has abandoned the stain of sorrow, the Tathagata is worthy of sacrificial cake. He who has abandoned the residence of the mind, who has no possessions at all, clinging to nothing here or beyond, the Tathagata is worthy of sacrificial cake. He who is concentrated, who has crossed the flood and has known the Dhamma with the supreme view, whose influxes are destroyed, who bears his final body, the Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. He whose influxes of existence and caustic speech are burnt up, vanished and no longer exist. That way the master in every way released, the Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. He who has overcome the ties, for whom there are no ties, who among those held by conceit is not held by conceit, who has fully understood suffering with its field and ground, the Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. He who is not dependent on desire, a zero of seclusion, who has overcome the view made known by others, for whom there are no basis of any kind, the Tathagata is worthy of sacrificial cake. He who has penetrated phenomena far and near, for whom they are burnt up, vanished and no longer exist, who is peaceful, liberated in the destruction of clinging, the Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. He who has seen the destruction and end of the fetters and of birth, who has entirely dispelled the pathway of lust, pure, faultless, stainless, flawless, the Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. He who by himself does not perceive a self, concentrated, upright, inwardly firm, who is without impulse, not barren, free from doubt, the Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. He for whom there are no delusions within and whose knowledge sees into all phenomena, who bears his final bodily form and has attained enlightenment, unsurpassed auspices, to this extent there is a purity of the spirit, the Tathagata is worthy of the sacrificial cake. The Brahmin. Let my offering be a truthful offering. Since I have found such a Veda master, Brahma himself has been made manifest. Let the Blessed One receive it from me. Let the Blessed One enjoy my sacrificial cake. The Blessed One. Food over which verses have been recited is not to be eaten by me. This Brahmin is not the principle of those who see. The Buddhas reject the food over which verses have been recited. There being such a principle, Brahmin, this is their conduct. So with other food and drink, the consummate one, the great Rishi, one with influxes destroyed, with regret stilled, for he is a field for one seeking merit. The Brahmin, please tell me, blessed one, so that I might understand. Who should eat the offering of one like me, seeking someone at the time of sacrifice? 
after having met your teachings the blessed one one in whom aggression has disappeared whose mind is unsullied who is freed from sensual desires who has dispelled dullness one who has removed the boundaries who is killed in birth and death a muni possessed of munihood one like that who has come to the sacrifice having removed the frown pay homage to him with reverential salutation when rate him with food and drink in such a way the offerings flourish the brahmin the honorable buddha deserves his sacrificial cake he is the unsurpassed field of merit the receptacle of sacrifice for all the world what is given to the worthy one brings great fruit then the brahmin sundari ke barajwada said this is to the blessed one excellent master gotama excellent master gotama Master Gautama has made the Dhamma clear in many ways, as though he were turning upright what had been overthrown, revealing what has been hidden, showing the way to one who was lost, or holding up a lamp in the darkness, so those with good eyesight can see forms. I go for refuge to Master Gautama, to the Dhamma, and to the Sangha of Bhikkhus. May I receive the going forth under Master Gautama, may have received the full ordination then the brahmin sundarika barajwada received the going forth under the blessed one became one of arhans